Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday morning, May 20th. Holiday here in Europe. Some sort of Pentecost deal. Uh, but we're here managing, um, we're managing some cable shorts that uh, we put on last night. Unusually, we usually don't trade in Asia. We're too old for that. But um, this was a big level, as we all know, through 50 on Friday. We were looking at that. So we're managing cable shorts. We don't really think we're going to get back above 80 now. Uh, so this is a tradable short for the rest of the day. We're expecting a close around 10 or a figure on a muted range day. We have absolutely no news coming out, uh, financial news coming out today. We have a lot of the world, a lot of the world's countries uh, taking the day off. So we're expecting smaller ranges today. But this um, sterling downside is worth watching. And if you missed the uh, cable downside, it's fine, no stress. There's always another trade, right? So we don't stress about missed entries or trades. This sterling yen is mildly interesting. Um, we've now put in a bunch of lows basically at 149.10, which is right on the cusp of this uh, 200 day. So right now we're battling this 200 day. Are we going to go higher? Are we going to go lower? Are we going to go higher? Are we going to go lower? Uh, and with this break in cable and the potential for any kind of bad news out of Brexit, the clusterfuck that Brexit is. Uh, you might want to stick an entry down there through 10 with a 30 stop. So you want the stop to be above the 200 day. And you're, what you're saying basically is if we get down there through 10 through the figure, the direction for the market will be lower and then the 200 day will then become resistance plus the 10 break point will become resistance, so you kind of have double resistance here, and you're kind of just saying, what are we going to decide on this 200 day, above or below? Um, the same could be said up for 150 the figure as well. Your stop is much further away, so the risk reward is slightly different, but um, because cable has come off, um, and because the Brexit news is surely going to be bad. Something to look at. One other thing to look at today, the rest of the charts are not that great. Euro Norway, with this China trade deal settlement, we've had risk on, oil's higher. Um, this is going to be deemed good for the global economy. This 953.20 area in Euro Norway, the low today has been 953.60, uh, is worth a look. Um, especially if oil gets through the doji highs from last week. So, oil did a little tricky little thing here. We broke down through these lows on this classic bar, which is going to create some shorts. Long term shorts are going to put their stops above 72.30. And now a break above 72.30 is going to cause all kinds of uh, pain and anguish and people scratching their heads. Uh, and if that does happen, obviously Norway is going to benefit. You can try and get long Aussie yen and CAD yen today. I don't really have great levels for that. We're just kind of mildly looking, keeping an eye out. CAD yen's already gapped up. Uh, Aussie yen's already gapped up. Uh, certainly any move down towards that gap fill 83.20 uh, needs to be monitored. Ideally we're going to get a print up at 94 today and then uh, tomorrow uh, if this continues risk on we'll be attacking that 80, 84 the figure level. CAD yen, similar story. Kind of congestion here got to keep in mind the 200 days, 87.11, recent highs, 86.78. I think it's a gentle accumulation if you feel like it, just on the news flow. It's 
it's not really technically super relevant. Equities, we'll just take a quick look, as you can imagine, are higher, six tenths of a percent higher on this uh, trade win. Um, and I guess one other thing that needs to be mentioned is Trump kicked the can down the road on um, NAFTA. So there's no real stress on Mexico and Canada to uh, create some sort of NAFTA solution. This also is mildly risk on. So we're going to head for a, a quiet risk on day, certainly the European session. When, uh, when New York gets in, it'll be normal or more normal, um, normal, more normal session. So let's just see. Uh, just as a recap, we're managing sterling, we're managing cable shorts, we're looking at this sterling and downside as a possibility, uh, and Euro Norway is uh, also worth a look through 53 and a quarter. I'll leave it with that, people. Um, I'll see you in New York Open. Bye.